There is news and information today, guys, that Baron Corbin is going to get a big major push in 2017. Let's get into the show. Now, there have been somewhat lofty plans in the works for Baron Corbin upon his promotion due to the fact that he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal his first night on the main roster. That's when he was on WWE Monday Night Raw. And ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't I thought in my opinion that Baron Corbin did not deserve to be and win that Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He didn't deserve that. Okay? That guy did not deserve to be the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He did not deserve to win that. He didn't deserve that statue. He didn't deserve that opportunity to win that match. Okay, Baron Corbin, first off on Raw, wasn't going nowhere. I had no interest in him. WWE was not pushing him nowhere. I had no interest in this guy when he was on WWE Monday Night Raw. I had no interest in him. But the momentum fizzled out during his anger program with Dolph Ziggler. As we now know, Ziggler even admitted to checking out prior to putting his career on the line, his feud with The Miz after the brand split. So that certainly could have played in a part in Baron Corbin's struggle. And first of all, the creative team on Raw sucked anyways. The creative team on Raw sucked. And that's why Raw it is where it's at still right now. Because it's bad every single week. Now even after the roster was divided, Baron Corbin was an uphill battle for relevance. Engaging the infinite angles with like Apollo Cruz, Swagger, which, you know, if Baron Corbin is gonna be destruction and be dominant and look like this guy's badass and looks like this guy can really terrorize the SmackDown Live roster, you can't be putting Baron Corbin up against a jobber who like Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger is terrible. He is not interested. He will not make Baron Corbin look good in that ring. Jack Swagger is a jobber. That's what he is. That's who he is. I don't want to see Jack Swagger back in the WWE. I don't even care. I'm not interested in it. I don't care if he came back or not. I have no interest in that guy. Now, most recently, he, he's feeding with Calistio. An injury to the latter said any progress he and Baron Corbin had been making together, but WWE creative remained committed to their feud with Kalisto when he returned. Now, I don't like this feud. Okay, When I saw the match at TLC, I felt like I was watching a WWE Monday Night Raw match. And I tweeted it out as well. I did tweet it on my Twitter profile that I thought I was watching a WWE Monday Night Raw match. The match was not intriguing. I wasn't interested in it. It was a match that I wasn't looking forward to. And the thing that I have a problem is, why are you putting Baron Corbin up against a cruiserweight? Okay, first off, Baron Corbin should be treated better. He should be used better. Okay? You're, book, you're treating him like he, like he was on Raw. If you're going to make this guy look dominant and look like the guy has talent, which in my opinion, the guy does have talent, the guy could go somewhere. And I, I'm going to tell you this. Baron Corbin could be destruction, could be dominant, could terrorize the SmackDown Live. The guy is drawing me in a little bit more. And he could be dominant. He can be destruction. He can terrorize the SmackDown Live roster. This guy could make, make a huge impact next year. They got to use him better. They got to make him fight bigger stars in that company. Because he he will be a better performer, a better wrestler than what Braun Strowman is right now. Braun Strowman is not dominant. He is not destruction. They're not using him right. I have no interest in him. I have more interest in Baron Corbin than Braun Strowman. That guy, Braun Strowman, is that guy, Baron Corbin, could be definitely destruction. He could be dominant. That guy is not that bad in the ring as a performer. I will tell you that. But him feuding with Kalisto, man, is not making me look this it's not making me look like this guy is dominant. I'm sorry. I don't hate Baron Corbin, 
But his in-ring skills are not that bad. Um, particularly, Kalisto was used to get Baron Corbin over and dominant heel and assume that their program has reached its conclusion. After Baron won the, Chris, the chairs match at TLC, which their match, when Kalisto put Baron Corbin through those chairs, that was cool. That was a cool moment. That was a cool hot spot that those two had. A lot of people said they would have done it different. And I respect that. Now, with singles, victory two days later on SmackDown. His segment afterward on Talking Smack ignited a report from K Seats indicating that WWE plans on focusing more on Baron Corbin and pushing him to the next level. As noted, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal victory was designed to kickstart a meaningful first year for Baron Corbin before things slated out. Rigid promoting his path of destruction, which will be better than, is actually could be way better than Braun Strowman, like I said. In the summer, were another attempt. Corbin's break almost came when he was booked to compete in the Mari Kilimishan match as Survivor Series, but replaced last minute because... You know, officials thought Shane would help get more tickets and everything and subscriptions for the network and pay-per-views. Also, they want to put him in the in the Elimination Chamber match, which I would be interested in seeing that. I want to see how this guy works in a chamber match with 10 tons of steel. This will be good. This will be his moment to prove that he does have talent, that he can be a star on the SmackDown Live brand. This will be his moment to terrorize people in that chamber match. To prove that he is destruction. That he is dominant. That he can be the best on SmackDown Live. Um, now they want to they have him be in the world title match. A pitcher and everything. He's not ready for that. He is not ready to be WWE World Heavyweight Champion right now. He's not ready for that. I, wanna, I don't want WWE to push him too quick. Push him too fast. Okay, I want to do that right now. Okay, let him be like an Intercontinental Champion right now. Let him start there. Give him that push. See where he goes from there. Don't push him to the main event spot already. It's just too soon. It's too early. Um, so that's today's episode, guys. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about Baron Corbin getting a major push in 2017? Leave me your thoughts below, guys. Until then... Articles below. Follow me on Twitter at the Talk Show 101. Facebook is Wrestling Talk Show. Links are down below for you guys. Until then, I'll make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well for more wrestling updates. And I'll catch you guys on the next show. Subscribe.